Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Makeup Revolution haul for you. I actually will have two separate Makeup Revolution hauls for you, but the first one is going to be um, a, a haul of just kind of newer, uh, regular price stuff. I did uh, purchase one sale item in this haul and the reason for me or making this order was because I wanted the uh, new Soph Does Nails and Revolution um, Extra Spice Palette or Soph X Extra Spice Palette. Um, I do have the original Soph X Palette and I love it so I wanted the Extra Spice Palette and she also came out with a couple lipsticks as well so I wanted to pick those up. Um, I also picked up some things from the Pro line. I had never tried anything from the Revolution Pro line so I wanted to go ahead and grab some things from the Revolution Pro line just to kind of try them out and um, then while I was placing this order so I placed this order right around the 4th of July and they were having a huge 80% off sale and uh, like I said I did purchase one thing from that 80% off sale at that time but I really just got up to the minimum kind of $60 range so that I could get the free shipping and um, the reason I added that extra sale item was just to kind of get to that shipping threshold well the next day I was like man I should have probably looked at some of that sale stuff so I went back to their sales section and they had so much stuff on sale so I went ahead and and purchased a massive order <clears throat> um, just from their sales section so I'm going to do that in a separate video because this video would be so long if I um, did both of them in the same video but anyways let's just go ahead and get started I'm going to uh, start with the new Sofex uh, Revolution Extra Spice Palette. So this is what I originally placed the order for. Um, I have been playing around with this palette. This is what the uh, regular packaging looks like. I hope it's not blinding you in my light there. Um, but this one I love because it's got the actual shade names printed on the palette itself. So that's what the palette looks like. If you can see it. Really, really beautiful. Um, this silver shade here is just gorgeous. This matte pink, so pretty. Um, go ahead and grab some of these colors here. So these are really, really beautiful. I would say that this is better quality than the original Sofax palette. Um, even though that one's great too, I really, I enjoy that one, I love it. But this one is actually just a touch better than that one in my opinion. So those are just, that silver, that silver is just so gorgeous. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and hold it up next to the original Sofax palette. So this one has that insert that has all your shade names on it, which I hate that because you have to hold on to that insert. But so that's what the original Sofax palette looks like. I'm gonna see if I can get this held up with as I dig my nail into it. Sorry. So those are the two uh, kind of Sofa X palettes together. Complement each other really beautifully. These are really, really nice palettes for the $15 price tag um, in my opinion. I really have been enjoying those. So um, that was what I placed my order for originally. Then I also wanted to pick up a couple of the lipsticks in this line. These are just traditional bullet lipsticks. They do have a nice shine to them, which I prefer. Uh, I do have aging lips, so even though I am wearing a matte lipstick today, this is a really nice um, formula. This is the Physician's Formula, and I really enjoy it, but uh, typically I prefer a bullet lipstick like this. Um, this is the shade Cake. These are really beautiful nude colors, so that is the shade Cake really really beautiful pinky nude color and then this is the shade syrup this is also a really really nice this is more of like your traditional nude so there you've got your pinky nude and cake and your kind of traditional nude and syrup there is a third color in this line i want to say it's called maple and it is a dark brown so it would be beautiful like a beautiful nude for deeper skin tones um, i did not pick that up because i actually already have a becca one of the lush lip color things um, in a really deep nude like that a kind of chocolatey brown so i did not feel like i needed a second one of those in my collection um, the second thing i wanted to pick up 
from this collection was not sorry not this collection but um, at the time I placed this order was the uh, Made Up by Tammy and Revolution palette this tropical paradise palette <clears throat> this is a really beautiful palette I have also been playing with this really beautiful quality this is what the inner packaging looks like and again this has got the sheet protector with the shade names on it beautiful beautiful palette I really really have been enjoying this the colors this pink is just gorgeous these are powdery I will say especially the mattes are very powdery they do kick up a lot of powder but um, really nice quality they blend out really well um, let's do this green green is really beautiful it's got a lot of gold in it and then I love this because it's got your kind of transition shades and your brow bone shade up here you've got a few transitions in here but you've got a nice mix of um, light mid-tone and deeper mattes to work with in this and then you've got some really beautiful shimmers I'll go ahead and swatch one of these mattes for you let's do this matte orange really beautiful the mattes just blend out really really nicely so that is the Makeup Revolution, or sorry, Revolution um, and Makeup by Tammy palette. Really like that. The, the quality on these for $15 are just really nice. Um, I have not always had luck with make, Makeup Revolution in the past. I have bought all the Reloaded palettes at one point. Um, I bought a lot of them and I've ended up decluttering them because they just haven't been the best quality, but these ones are really, really nice. Um, so... I also picked up this highlighting palette. This is actually available on Ulta's website now. Um, this is just a Revolution Beauty um, highlighting palette. And oops, does have a protector in it. And this is what this looks like. Four really, really pretty shades. Um, these, let me give you some swatches. These are quite powdery. Um, you can kind of see on my fingers they're quite powdery so I would go in lightly but man they are blinding really beautiful I have used this on my face um, once you can kind of see really really high impact highlighters I really enjoy them but again they are very powdery so you do have to kind of go in with a light hand and you do have to use the right kind of brush because they will kind of fly all over your face if you're not careful so again there's what that palette looks like really beautiful okay so after that I jumped into the Revolution Pro stuff and I saw a couple of these palettes these little eyeshadow palettes and um, these are they're really beautiful they really caught my eye on the website um, the colors of these are really gorgeous so this is what these look like um, really nice uh, mix between mattes and these are pretty high impact um, kind of foiled shades so let's do a couple of the mattes and a couple of the shimmers now these these foiled shades you can see are quite crumbly they feel like they have a lot of maybe like a silicone or something in them but oh these mattes are buttery and beautiful um, I have used this palette gosh look at that the foiled shades are just gorgeous they're really really high impact but um, they can be tricky to work with on the eyes these are uh, like I say they have a very thick kind of silicone formula to them and it can be difficult to kind of pack that on your eyelid and they I would say that these swatch a little bit better than they actually perform on the eyes these um, they don't tend to have that kind of impact now you can see this one is just gorgeous this is all shimmers I believe oh it has one matte which is this kind of brow bone shade but um, this you would need to pull a different palette in to use if you're not into like an all shimmer look you could go ahead and use just one shade of this all over the lid though and it would be beautiful um, I wanted this one for this duochrome color right here this is kind of like a 
gold to green shift really beautiful in these peach colors and this gold so again very very intense shimmer kind of one swipe do not need a lot of effort to get these to really pop but again um, they do not perform as well on the eyes as they do in a swatch so um, that's where that's when you realize that swatches don't mean everything something can swatch really beautifully or really horribly and it can perform really well in the eyes and swatch really beautifully and uh, perform not as great on the eyes so I am glad that I picked those up I do enjoy them um, I will continue to use them Okay, this was sad. This came completely shattered, but this is um, Katie Price. I'm not sure who Katie Price is. I think that she's somebody famous in the UK. I'm sorry, but um, this is a baked highlighter. I guess she did a whole line of makeup with uh, Revolution Beauty, and um, this is the baked highlighter in Warm. This is a really pretty highlighter, but it did come, mine did come completely shattered, so I'm going to be brave and open this up. You can see it's kind of a big old mess, but let's see if I can give you a little swatch. I don't think the mirror is going to blind you because it's covered in highlight, but it's in this really nice compact, um, really pretty highlight, kind of blended out on one side so you can see really beautiful highlight, but yeah, it did come shattered. I'm still going to use it. I'm going to clean my box up and just still use it. It's got a really pretty pink shift to it. So, um, but yeah, that was really inexpensive. I want to say it was like around the $3 range. So during the time that I placed my order, they, um, had this, like a special going on where if you spent like $40 or more, you got to choose between a colorful or a neutral giant palette. It's got 144 eyeshadows in it. Um, I chose the colorful one. So this is the one that I went for and um, I thought this would be great for like you know Halloween or any time that I'm looking for just a very specific color of eyeshadow um, this would be great for that so I went ahead and got the colorful one I have swatched some of these I'll go ahead and swatch some for you but um, these are not bad quality at all um, and there's pretty much every color you could possibly imagine in this palette. Um, ooh, very pretty. Very decent quality for being one of these kind of huge palettes. But yeah. So, anyways, guys, that is the first part of my Makeup Revolution haul. And I will be um, going ahead and doing a second part to this with all of these sale items that I picked up in their 80% off sale. So I hope you enjoyed this Makeup Revolution haul, um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!